What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Blue Lock Season 2, Episode 4. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut version of this reaction, as well as every other show, every movie, everything that's been on the channel, check out that Patreon link down below. Please follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, all at Dapper Darius. I appreciate you. I'm not going to waste any more time. Blue Lock Season 2, Episode 4, called Chameleon. Let's do it. All right, here we go. This is something I was wondering. Are they going to show us the other matches? Or are they only going to focus on Isagi? But them, show them showing us a little bit of Rayo flashback makes me think we're going to see the other ones. I do like that sentimentality coming from someone who's gotten everything they wanted. At the end of the day, you can't get everything. I am excited for this match, though. I like that. There's a, a literal flame ignited in his eyes. He's reignited, you know. Okay, okay. Oh, he's trying to go over his intense play. I don't want to pause it too much because I know specifically that moment in last episode got a lot of hate because apparently him awakening, I don't know what it's called in the manga, him going into the zone, the flow state, was apparently a super big moment in the manga. And I definitely agree it could have been handled a little better. But like I said, I have to hold out all my complaints until the end of the season. Just because certain things can make up for this. Like, I'm not saying we'll forget about this, but we kind of will if U20 is amazing. This is Nanase, right? I love how the cool, like, little friends we just made, you know, randomly. Nanase and Hiori is Speak of the Devil. Oh, yeah, I definitely agree with VOD review is very important of yourself and not other people as well. Studying in general. Well, like Tetris? Yep, exactly. That's a good point. Those Tetris pros and how fast they can react to stuff like that. That's actually a pretty good analogy for... <laughs> Having the half the reaction and strategical time on that speed, you know. And I like how this is the blue lock version of Tetris. Yeah, I'm not that good at Tetris myself, but I do have decent reaction time with certain games. Put me in a Counter Strike game, ooh, I might take your head off. I love how we always see him from like the puzzle pieces, but now it's like the same thing, just how the pieces fit, except a little more. A little more reactionary because puzzle pieces are always standing there or these pieces are changing you know i was just saying how much i like these two new friends we just made yeah my boy needs to watch kuroko no basket at the end of the show those motherfuckers can just enter the zone at will you know what i'm saying <laughs> See, this is what I was curious about. Are they going to show us highlights? Are they going to actually show us the game? I love seeing Connie, Rin, Shido. I forget the guy with the long hair who thinks he's beautiful. Everything glam. Oh, okay, we're starting. We're going right in there. Okay, Rayo. I kind of like the emphasis on Rayo right now. Ore. This guy's a beast. Tallest high school. Ishi, what was it? Ishikari? Yep. I was a bit low for him. And now Rin has it. That's not a. I see, I don't know who to go for. I love Shido and Rin, but now I want, love Nagi as well. Actually, I like Nagi more than Rito, uh, Shido and Rin, so. I gotta go for Nagi. And that's Gagamaru, right? Oh my god, what the hell? Of course Shido would be impressed by that, just the impromptu adaptability. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, it's a uh, smart boy with that. With he has the glasses too. That's why he's got the sports glasses on. Can you? Ooh. All right, speed demon. Oh, 
I, I usually like to say Erling Holland. I don't know a lot about soccer is Shido, but this guy gives me more Holland vibes. He literally will just force you through with his pure physicality. Correct me if I'm wrong. If there's any analogies you guys want to make, correlations, please tell me. Oh, this boy's got the long range. Is it going to curve that much? Oh my god. Are you? Never mind. We didn't even need are you. I didn't even realize Nagi was stopping are you from stopping his sh like there's so much shit going on right now. I was literally a hyper dimensional level quite literally. I know Rails that I leveled up. Nagi's like, I leveled up six times. I like how he words that. It's kind of weird, but it's like, because he's gotten everything he's wanted since he was a JIT, you know? Go beyond. They're literally breaking the chart in certain aspects. It is rough when they have that in those individual abilities that go well beyond. Being a jack of all trades might not be the best. No one can get with his headers. He's so tall. And Aryu's also insanely tall with crazy hops. I like the way Rayo, who's somewhat of a normal person, is getting his mental kind of reevaluated. Because I don't want to pause it. You do kind of have to be mentally insane to have the sole ambition in your life that where nothing else drives you. Because you need that level of ambition to best however many people to be, you know what I'm saying? To be number one in anything. Like I get where this is coming from. Especially from a jack of all trades, the kind of guy like a uh, rail. So I kind of like this, you know, like your mentality cannot be the norm, cannot be what everyone else is, because you have to be better than everyone else. This, like, it's I like I like that. It's why they shine so brightly. I wonder if he is gonna evolve. He's been told that from as long as he can remember, he can't be this. He can't do this. <laughs> To the point where he believed it himself. Now he's saying, that's all bullshit. I was wondering if Rayo's was going to have an awakening. He said, if, if it's all going to go to hell anyway, I'll get the same crazy mentality these guys have. I like this music playing right now. Showing off his stats. Point distribution. Okay, analyze your strengths and play into them. Break out of that box you put yourself in. What are you then? Okay. Buddy thinks he's Kurapika. Emperor time. Ooh. He said, fuck you, Nagi. Not happy. He said, fuck you, Nagi. I'm gonna do it myself. He said, nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Oh, and he had to... And he had to copy Four Eyes' shot. And upgrade it. Do the one better. With the music? Okay, Rio. <laughs> Look at that deranged face. The chameleon. He's like Kisei. He's the adapter. Shout out Kuroko no basket. Yeah, that's the downside. But the upside is his adaptability. He can copy this. He can copy that. Literally anything, you know. I do like how realistic that is. But you had some great development. Now I know the path. Exactly. I like that. 
Be like, we'll have this conversation in a couple months, buddy, when I'm actually to that point. I I actually kind of like that story as someone who's always gotten what he wants, but there are things out of his reach and he's been told he can't get, so he's going to work his damnedest to get that. W story. All right, we got an after credit scene. Itoshi say, Rin's big bro bro. Or whatever that was. Oh, wow. Because Say when played internationally. Wow. As long as they're Japanese. Is someone from the Blue Lock gonna play against the Blue Lock? <laughs> okay, so that was technically the second match of the pre matches before U20. So I don't know how many episodes this season's gonna be. I think it's gonna be 14, if I remember correctly. So we're in episode four or three. I wonder what the U20. Like, how many episodes is that going to be? And I'm very curious about, say, choosing one of the blue lock idiots that he wants to team up with. We know it's definitely not Rin. Could be Shido, even though I don't think they would mesh too well together. It could be Isagi, because Say was just watching that. Could be Nagi as well. I would say anyone in the top six, plus Isagi, plus Bachira, besides Rin and Shido. Those are my guesses, just out of pulling out that on my ass, but um actually great episode i'm I, I don't know maybe i was so locked into the moments themselves of rayo's story because I, I genuinely enjoyed it but i think this episode was much more digestible than last one um maybe i was just too tunnel vision on the on the frame lock last episode um but so far i'm having a decent time i'm not disenjoying it kind of just turned my brain off and enjoying some great song i'm more enjoying it the fact that i'm so ignorant and so lack knowledge and luster in soccer in general like I, even if People know a lot about soccer and they're looking for cool animated moments. They won't really get a lot out of this. But for me, getting just references, soccer knowledge, soccer perspective, mentality, anything in general, I kind of like that. So I'm kind of getting a good thing out of this. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Check out the Patreon for the full uncut versions. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Do a good deed today. Have a great one, Dapper Squad. Peace out.